Today we're going to talk about trapezoids and some of their properties. A boring old trapezoid has bases which are parallel. To give you an idea of what it looks like, the bases are the parallel sides and the other sides are called legs. The only thing you need to prove that you have a trapezoid is that, that it is a four-sided shape and that it has parallel bases. An isosceles trapezoid, though, is a little bit special. It has, of course, parallel bases plus some other information. It needs to have congruent legs, much like an isosceles triangle. So, our legs are congruent. It also has congruent diagonals. The one other thing that it has is because of the congruent legs, which are the definition of an isosceles trapezoid, because the legs are congruent, the base angles will be congruent as well, just like in an isosceles triangle. So if you need to prove that your trapezoid is isosceles, you can have either of these two things happen. Or if you can get the base angles to be congruent, you can use the base angles converse to get the legs. So if tick, then talk, and its converse totally work. And lastly, before moving on to medians and mid-segments, because the bases of a trapezoid are parallel, the consecutive angles will be supplementary because they will become a set of same side interior angles. So if you know one angle, you can always find the other. For example, if this is 70, this would have to be its supplement, 110. The median, also called the mid-segment in some books, is the segment that's found exactly halfway along the two legs. It is the average of the two bases. So this is base one and this is base two. And you want to find the median's length. You would just say the median equals one half of base one plus base two. Or the easier way to do that is to say two times the median equals base one plus base two. So let's do a practice one together. If we say this segment up here is 12 and this bottom one is 16 and we wanted to find the length of the median, this is exactly halfway between. So you would say the median equals one half of 12 plus 16 or the average of 12 and 16. So the median equals one half of 28 giving us 14. What if there are variables here? What if we knew that the bottom was 16, this was 2x, and finally this is x plus 5? If we plug in everyone we know saying the median equals 1 half of base 1, 16, plus base 2, x plus 5. You get an ugly number even when you start to clean this up. You're going to be asked to take half of x and half of 21. If you don't wish to do this, this is when you can use 2 times the median. I'm going to double this side and double this side. And now I get a problem free of fractions. I'm going to find out that 3x equals 21, so x is 7. 
and we get the same answer that we had just a little while ago, where 14 is the middle between 12 and 16. Bring this to class, and we'll work on some problems tomorrow.